On this week's Planet XYZ, we check out the action from Rip Curl with surfing legend Tom Curran, searching for waves in Russia. Only here on Encore Wham! We're with our friends at Rip Curl to search, going to cover one of my favorite surfers, Tom Curran, in Russia. This week, our X crew caught up with Rat Salt, the gold medalist street loser who takes us down a local San Diego road and the information superhighway with an important message. Oh, it's epic! It's fun. Just, just block everything out, and you're just—it's surreal. You're just falling. It's you in the road. You know, you just hear the wheels going. And it's awesome. Then here comes a turn. And you're sideways. Your adrenaline starts pumping and. And you go back into your relax mode a little bit. It's, it's awesome. It's killer. It's a rush. That's what we do. It's adrenaline, the best drug on earth. It's free. You just need a skateboard or a luge. Go safe or go home. I live to go big. Taking steep hills and sweeping curves at 60 miles an hour is my kind of day at the office. Although I must say, sharp turns can be dangerous. But that's what a helmet and good pads are for. On the internet, dangers exist around every curve. Learn how to play it safe and protect yourself. So remember, when you're cruising the net, check out isafe.org before you take your next downhill run. Learn to drive safe. Join the iSafe student mentoring program. We're going to open up this show with our friends over at Rip Curl, The Search, with Tom Kern in Russia. Enjoy. Surfing is a sport, an art, a lifestyle, an adventure. This is the story of two very different surfers following their unique journey to the former Soviet Union experiencing new cultures and searching for new waves. This documentary follows young Puerto Rican hotshot Brian Toth and arguably one of the greatest surfers of all time, Californian Tom Curran. Different cash if you need to give a change. Uh -huh. <laughs> Very popular kind, funny, typical Russian. Tom's influenced me more than any other surfer by a, by a good margin. Um, you know, when I was a kid, I just loved the way he surfed. I loved the lines he drew. I loved the style. Oh, he was my favorite surfer when I was, you know, you know, from 12 to 16 years old or something. He was my hero, without a doubt. Like, everything about him, he had perfect style. I remember trying to mimic his style to the, to everything he did, you know? To see some of the turns that he did that were so, like, you know, he's such a precise surfer, surfer and such a clean surfer, you know? I mean, it's every, what everybody says about Tom, all of that cut back, you know? Like, he surfs really well, you know? I'm stoked to see him doing well in these contests. Just the way he, where he does turns on waves and just the line he takes and his approach, you know, it's so smooth and finesse and power, you know, mixed in. It's just, he just looks right on a wave, you know. People have always thought he has this mystical thing with, with the waves where the wave always comes to him. Basically, he's the best surfer I think that's ever been. 
just need to hear some truth There was a few years where I was kind of at home or you know doing other things. You know, it's exciting you know, for me to be to be able to be a part of it again. The performance level has just really changed a lot. It's a little more uh, showcasing performance surfing, and, but you know, still has a bit to do with getting the waves. I'm just trying to uh, stay active in the sport as much as I can. You know, hopefully I can get back into a competitive rhythm or whatever. You know, but it's just to be a part of it. That's enough. Let's go, Shafiq. Having seen virtually every beach, point and reef, 500 miles north and south during the previous week, the truck was loaded up with equipment and the team headed out along the treacherous tracks to the coast. It's interesting to uh, try to make uh, decisions and judgment calls on uh, potential surf spots, you know, especially when there's not a lot of swell. Oh, uh, looks like it's hitting that bank pretty good. I just saw like three waves in a row. Pretty good, pretty cold. It's pretty hard to tell. You kind of have to go by um, you know, the way the rocks are uh, arranged or whatever, and, you know, how the tides affect it, what the sand looks like, and so it was a lot of guessing. Small Kira, maybe. A couple of sections, if they linked up, would be very much like a Queensland point break. Uh, maybe the tide will change and help that a little bit. Only difference is they're not wearing board shorts. I saw a bright and bold around me The higher I go, the less I see The one place that we did end up getting waves, there was a, sort of a rock island up a mile out to sea. So that seems like it directed the swell in a way that made it to, you know, peak up and you know, run down a sandbank, so that might have something to do with it. It's a very beautiful country. It's all kind of volcanoes all over the place. And uh, we happen to get really nice weather for the most part. So that was really good. And so it's been a nice time. The weather's been good, so had a chance to see a lot. 
we did manage to get some good surf, and you know we had one spot that was really setting up nice, and uh, you can see that you know there's potential. On behalf of Encore Wham, I'm Clinton Walker. We'll catch you next week. Tune in. I live for the ocean, for its beauty and for its power. But there's definitely risks involved every time you paddle out. The same goes with the internet. It's a big ocean full of adventures, but it does have its dangers. Know the risks involved when surfing online and learn how to protect yourself from strong currents and reefs. Check out isafe.org to learn more about internet dangers before you take your next online adventure. Surf carefully and enjoy the ride. I claim this world in the name of Planet X. Planet X in the air since 1995.